Right, so I'm back. I'm still standing. After yesterday, I was very ill last night. Um, Steve and Pete managed to go out for a ride this morning. They went down the Cotard Straza. Um, have a nice up and down there. But we're going to go for an up and down at the Oberalp Pass, just out of Andermatt. Just a nice little leg spin after yesterday's brutal uh, triple ascents above 2,000 metres. We were all feeling a bit this morning. Several of us not keen. Have a nice, restful, relaxing morning. And um, the sun's still out. It does look a bit breezy out there still. But as you can see, we're uh, slobs. <laughs> just, just lounging around. Um, going down to the dungeon, get the bikes out, and uh, go and experience a bit more of this beautiful country. Because we're still loving Switzerland, even if it's not loving our bodies. <laughs> You all waiting for me? You all ready? Oh, me just dragging my feet then. <laughs> you all look keen. Orange is the colour, is it today? I've been running from myself so long. I've been running from my heart. Things have never been the same since you packed your bags and played your cards. Summer felt like autumn with the sun so bright. And well, that was a rude awakening. No time for a warm up. Straight up to 1500 meters. And it just spirals up this hillside. The Oberalp Pass. We both know oh so well Now's the time he stops pretend La 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 I'm smiling what is happening La 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 Oh my god There's Running to an AFK in It's only 6 to 7% My heart rate is already maxing out This elevation thing how long does it take to acclimatise to this? I know I'm going to be last up, so I'm just setting my own pace now. 10k apparently. I'm on holiday. What if I would tell you that Things don't happen once, they always come back. What if I could throw us back? To the right, the climb is now flattened out to about five to six percent. We're going through this valley now. It can't be that far from the summit because I'm at 1948 meters of elevation and I've done 7.7k. I think Dean said it was 10k, so a couple of k to go. Can't be that far over 2000 meters, surely. Not again. Uh, my heart rate is at max at this elevation, so I can only go as fast as I can go without running out of breath. This altitude is not something you can train for. Do all the climbing I did thinking I'd be ready for this. I'm gonna have to change my plans for everything I want to achieve this week. Suddenly it's clear to me you're all I ever wanted. Can't you see? Got to follow through. It ain't the way I want it. Got to follow through. What a beautiful climb, Justin. That was lovely. That was lovely. With the train there, that tunnel to finish, that was pretty oh, epic. And it flattened at the top. It's yeah. So I, I enjoyed that. Win. First, my first win. Oh, your first win. <laughs> <laughs> well done, you. <laughs> you gonna go down and come back up? I'm gonna go down and come back up. Yeah. Lump for punishment. <laughs> Third climb of the day. You've already done the God Straza this morning. Yeah, well. You still so still what, feeling fresh. Yeah, yeah. Did we not punish you enough yesterday? Uh, not, not yet. <laughs> still, uh, still firing on all cylinders. I, I don't know. You cope with these altitude, the altitude. I, I, I can barely breathe. I'm max really? heart rate all the way. Really? Yeah. No, I'm feeling okay. Good for you. I am not jealous whatsoever. 
Oh, I, I was ordering Charles. Um, I know. That's not apple strudel. No, it isn't, is it? It looks good though. That's it's, donuts. It's donut isn't it? strudel. Yeah. Apple Cheap. donuts. And I got the old ice cream. Is it any good though? So we're back down in Andermatt. Just gonna pedal around the town, wait for the others who are still up there somewhere on the mountain. Alright, so that's where we've just been up there, the Oberalp Pass. Zoom in, there's all the switchbacks that go all the way up and over for the valley. That was a great climb though. Where would you rank that on the uh, four climbs we've done so far? Seven out of ten. Seven out of ten? Yeah, really nice. But quite, quite flat. Yeah, Furka's okay. still my favourite. Yeah. That, that was a pretty good climb. It wasn't too hard actually. No, it wasn't gentle. It was over before I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Well, it takes me longer to get up there, so I reckon I enjoy them more because I, I take, <laughs> take <laughs> more time to savour the views. <laughs> it's just a short little ride for me today, trying to recover from yesterday. I'm going to go out and get some shopping, give myself some tea, sorted, have a proper meal tonight because I didn't really eat last night, and then we'll think about what we're doing tomorrow. Uh, Pete's just said he still wants to do the big loop. I don't know yet. 2,000 metres of altitude, <laughs> it's just... Yeah, I mean, even down here at uh, 1,400 metres, it's uh, literally the first slope that we hit was a bit of a shock to the system. As soon as my heart rate gets to the max out, I can only go as fast as I can go with breathing. It's an odd feeling. It really is an odd feeling not being able to do what you know you can do. But anyway, that's day two. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow for more high mountains. I'm standing